to recline your seat or not on an airplane is a debate that has fiercely divided the internet. Now it all started after a woman on an American Airlines flight in economy class uploaded this video to her Twitter account. It shows a man punching the back of her seat after she reclined. Hashtag recline gate flooded the internet with some people saying the woman should have put her seat upright after the man complained. Others say it is a woman's right to recline if she wants to. Now, even more outrage after Delta Airlines CEO weighed in. In an interview on US network CNBC, he suggested passengers ask if it's okay first before reclining. People online erupted with many wondering how the CEO can even relate to the situation, figuring he likely flies first class. Now over in Costa Rica, Authorities have made the country's largest drug bust in history. Police seized nearly six tons of cocaine inside a shipping container. The packages of cocaine were found inside more than 200 briefcases ready to be shipped to the Netherlands. Now one suspect has been arrested. And that viral dance called the Renegade, you might have done it or you probably have seen it online, is the hottest dance right now. Its moves copied all around the world, but we didn't know who actually created the dance until now. Now it's this girl right here in the middle, 14-year-old Jalea Harmon from Atlanta, Georgia. Now the New York Times published a story on Jalea first uploaded her video on App Funimate and Instagram. And then about a month later, her dance moves went viral on TikTok, with different users doing the sequence, but never giving her the credit. Now, K-Camp, the rapper behind the song, has acknowledged Jalea, uploading a video of her dancing on his Twitter account. Look at that. Jalea was also invited to do the dance at the NBA All-Star Game over the weekend. Go, Jalea. Now, these are just some of the stories that have gone viral in the Americas this week. Feel free to share your favorite viral stories and follow us on CGTN America. Back to you, Beijing.